Welcome everyone to this third video in cell biology. In the previous two videos, I discussed the structure and function of the cell membranes, lipids, and proteins. In this video, I will be uh, talking about the structure and function of the cell membranes, carbs, more specifically what's known as the glycocalyx. As I stated before in a previous video that the protein domains which are exposed extracellularly are usually glycosylated. So if you look here, the different types of proteins, whether we're talking about integral proteins or peripheral proteins, which have regions exposed to the outside of the cell or facing the extracellular matrix, are usually glycosylated. So they have carbs attached to them, more specifically oligosaccharides. Uh, there are also some lipids which are glycosylated. I mentioned before glycolipids. Uh, these are lipids uh, which are attached to sugars, uh, including uh, glycosphingolipids, for example, or glycolipids. Now, the oligosaccharides that can be found exposed to the outside of the cell or covering the cell are collectively known as the glycocalyx. Now, the glycocalyx have several functions, but the main two functions uh, are cell surface protection, specifically against chemicals, for example. So if the cell is exposed to harmful chemicals, then the coat uh, made up of sugar that's covering the cell will protect the cell from damaging itself by these chemicals. Another function is the cell-to-cell -cell recognition, specifically do, during inflammation, uh, which involves proteins called selectins. I'll, talking, I'll be talking about this in the next few slides. Now, these selectins, as I said, they are involved in cell-to-cell -cell recognition, specifically during inflammatory responses. These are proteins that recognize oligosaccharide sequences on other cell types. So there are three main types of these selectins, including E-selectins, which are proteins expressed on the endothelial cells. And these E-selectins, or these proteins, recognize oligosaccharides on leukocytes. Okay, uh, I'll be talking about this specifically in the next slide. Uh, another example or another uh, type of selectins are the P-selectins, which can be found on platelets, on the surface of platelets. These proteins recognize oligosaccharide sequences on, again, leukocytes. And the third major type is or are L-selectins, which can be found on leukocytes. So you can see P, platelets, L, leukocytes, E, endothelial cells. Now, L selectins uh, are expressed on the cell surface or cell membrane of leukocytes, and they recognize oligosaccharide sequences on both endothelial cells and platelets. Now, the E selectins, if you look here, when um, the different capillaries, for example, or the different vessels have uh, an injury, like for example, if there is a vessel that has an injury and there is an infection in a site in the body, in a certain site in the body, then the endothelial cells that make up these vessels or blood vessels, they recognize oligosaccharides on leukocytes. So it's like they basically recruit or start recruiting these leukocytes to the site of infection. And this will be the, the beginning of inflammation and it will start an inflammatory response. So if you look here, this is the endothelial cell and this is the E-selectin, which is the protein that recognize, as I said, oligosaccharides or oligosaccharide sequence uh, expressed on uh, leukocytes. So this is leukocyte, this is the sequence, oligosaccharide sequence, and it's being recognized by E-selectin. Therefore, this will start the inflammatory response in case there is uh, an infection site next to the cell. Okay. 
So this concludes our video for today. If you like the video and the content of this video and this channel, then please like, share and subscribe. Uh, you may also visit our website for uh, further updates in the future. Thank you very much and see you in future videos.